sharp tooth flying grabber get them? In one bite. And just like that, they're gone. Whoa. It true. You saw this yourself? Oh, no. Me no see. Me Uncle Toronto, no leaf eater who met Flyer, who no other leaf eater who saw it. I thought we were telling scary stories. Oh, I know a scary story from the mysterious beyond. Hmm? I was told sharp teeth tell their kids this story to scare them. Something mysterious lurks in the darkest, dark caves of the mysterious beyond. Whoa. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. Before time. Something mysterious lurks in the mysterious beyond. There, in those dark caves, lives a mysterious, spooky creature. They call him the Hidden Runner. Whoa. <sighs> and? And then the Hidden Runner waits till it's night. Dark at night. When you're asleep, he sneaks up to your sleeping place, and before you wake up, he eats you! <gasps> So we watch for Hidden Runner? what do he look like? That's the problem. No one's ever gotten a good look at him. No one? Why not? <sighs> because he's hidden. More than that, sometimes he's invisible. <gasps> <gasps> What's invisible? It means he can't be seen. If he is invisible, how do you know he is there? Oh, you know. Right before he eats you, they say he lets out a noisy, horrible yell. Ow! Ow! Oh! If he invisible, maybe he's here right now, but we not know. That's impossible. <gasps> Isn't it? Maybe not. Whenever you think you see something, but nothing's there, maybe whatever was there you didn't see was the Hidden Runner. That could be him right over your shoulder! Ah! Look back! No! <laughs> <laughs> well, just because you know see Invisible Runner not mean Invisible Runner not there. It's just a story, Petrie. Nothing to be scared of. Ah! Ah! Hidden runner? Little foot. Little foot. Sleeping time, little ones. Oh. <laughs> okay, Grandma. <sighs> no time for more scary stories tonight. Huh, like we were scared by that story. Um, Ruby, can I stay with you tonight? I'm not scared, but... <laughs> I am here alone. Yep, yep, yep. It is nice under the bright circle. Hmm, that is not what usually happens. No, no, no. Spike? Hmm? Hello?
me up. <laughs> we all had scary sleep stories. Not all of us. Hidden Runner did not come to visit your sleep story? How could he? Three horns don't have sleep stories. Remember, a sleep story about Hidden Runner only happens when you're asleep. And sleep stories can't hurt you in the first place. Maybe sleep stories not hurt you, but Hidden Runner might. Maybe you only see Hidden Runner in sleep stories, but me see Hidden Runner here with own eyes. But you can't see something that doesn't exist, even if it's invisible. Okay, Petrie, then what did this invisible runner look like? Like... like... nothing! Huh. Petrie, I know everything I know about Hidden Runner is a story. I know I even made parts of it up. Just because you make story up not mean story not true. <laughs> true. But you know who knows closer to everything than me? Mr. Thick knows. I bet he knows that nobody knows this is a true story. And now they're having scary sleep stories about Hidden Runner. No! Me see Hidden Runner! For real! So please tell them the story about Hidden Runner is just a story. So, Hidden Runner is back, eh? Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Hidden Runner back? <gasps> but he can't be back if he was never here, because he's imaginary. Oh, no. Hidden Runner's no story. He's not? He's been around for generations, since I was a hatchling, even. You were a hatchling? He goes from place to place, but never stays long enough for anyone to get a good look at him. But sometimes, he comes back. Sometime now? Must be, but this time. This time, I'm going to see him for myself. Last time, Hidden Runner was spotted at the dark caves on the hill. About a two-day walk. You're going to look for an imaginary creature? Correction. I'm going to look for an invisible creature. I might not get the chance again. When opportunity comes along, you have to take it. I have to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I have to go adventuring while Hidden Runner's back. This is my opportunity to see a thing that's hard to see. It might not come again for me. I have to go. But is it true he cannot be seen? He's really real or really mean? You'll never know unless you go. So if you go adventuring, adventuring, there's just one thing you know that you are going to have to do. You're gonna have to take a song with you. We want to go adventuring too. I would like to see Hidden Runner with my own eyes. Which is the only way I can see it. Y you tell us Hidden Runner not real. But then, why were you so scared to did? Because me, me! Thing no have to be real to scare me. I want to see if there's really anything to be scared of. If you're going, I'm going. Why? You don't even believe any of it. But it sounds like such a nice, relaxing trip to the woods. You can all come if you like. Just ask your parents before we go. Now 
Now stay on the lookout for his footprints. They will be big. Oh, me afraid he say that. And far apart. And that too. Seeing Hidden Runner is probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. What if Hidden Runner eat us? Then it'll definitely be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> you hatchlings worry too much. There's nothing to be scared of in these woods. What about these woods? Just the kind of woods Hidden Runner likes. I once heard Hidden Runner scared away the tree stars themselves. Nobody ever saw for sure. I was just a little older than you kids. Did he just say the Hidden Runner scared away the tree stars? I could be like Sarah and not have sleep stories. Being scared is for scaredy eggs. <laughs> Being scared is for scaredy eggs. But you are afraid, aren't you, Sarah? Sarah is afraid. Sarah is afraid. Scary egg. Scary egg. Sarah is afraid. I am not a scary egg. Three horns don't have sleep stories. looking at were you having sleep no you woke me up is all <sighs> did you sleep okay Sarah you sure look tired so what if I'm tired? It's not like I was having scary sleep stories. Because three... Three, three horns, horns don't, don't have sleep, sleep stories. stories. Well, we don't. <coughs> what was that? Hidden Runner, we're getting close. Life is 
is a mystery. We hope it not come after me. But I would really like to see the hidden runner. Kids, just follow me now through the trees. I think we're close. Must we be close? Don't get scared on me now. It's okay. Just try and be brave. I'm always brave. Hidden, hidden runner. The very hidden, hidden runner. To see it, we will have to try. I wonder if it might be shy. I know I won't be frightened by the hidden runner. Find clues, we know find hidden runner. I found something. <gasps> or maybe not. These branches have been bitten just the way hidden runner bites. And look, footprints. Let's go. Go inside. We won't find Hidden Runner if we don't look for him. It can't be that you're scared, right, Sarah? Hmm. Me scared! Me wait outside. Whoa. Wow, look! <laughs> okay, okay, me go! Is he? Maybe he's nowhere because there's no such thing as Hidden Runner. Ah! <laughs> hidden Runner. <laughs> what is that? It must be him. All my life I've wanted to see him up close. And now, almost. <laughs> Runner, wait! <sighs> I missed him. No one's ever been that close to Hidden Runner. Then that is something, is it not? Hmm. Maybe we can still catch him. Mr. Thicknose, we have to find Sarah first. Uh, uh, <sighs> Sarah! to come out. Hidden runner far away. We hope. Hmm. Where would Sarah go if she wanted to be somewhere that's not here? I was so close. I'm sorry, Mr. Thicknose. Sarah! Sarah! It's my fault you didn't get to see Hidden Runner. Now you know. I'm a big scaredy egg. I have scary sleep stories and everything. You could have just told us. Then we would have known. We're still your friends. But three horns are supposed to be brave. Being afraid doesn't mean you can't be brave, too. It doesn't? True bravery is to admit you're afraid and face your fear anyway, like your friends. Even after they admitted being afraid, they still came to find Hidden Runner. Then they're braver than I am. I just took one look at Hidden Runner's shadow and ran... <gasps> Whoa! He's really real. And I'm looking right at him. <gasps> I can't believe it. A story I made up wasn't a made-up story. Look at him. He has many different colors. I can't believe I almost let fear keep me from seeing this. Me not believe me not flying away. Uh, 
Hi, I'm Sarah. <gasps> he disappeared. He doesn't disappear. He blends in. Look, he's still there. But his funny colored body acts as some sort of disguise. Hidden Runner not invisible? He only looked that way. Uh, maybe whoever first made up my story saw him disappear, but didn't understand how he disappeared. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks for taking us to see Hidden Runner, Mr. Thicknose. I could never have imagined something like that. I thought I did imagine it. It did not look at all like what I imagined in my sleep story. No, no, no. I'm just glad we all got to see it. <laughs> and to think, the Hidden Runner was more scared of us than we were of it. <laughs> That's right. It's not anything you kids need to be scared of. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something for Petrie to be scared of. No, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs>